Hi, Gary with StockMarketLive.tv. Well, Tesla Motors is going to announce uh, next week uh, Q3 deliveries, as it matters. It does not matter at all. Anything that the company is going to announce, it is uh, false, fake, and you should disregard completely what Elon Musk is going to say about uh, the performance of Tesla Motors or Solar City if for some reason he says that both companies they are doing very well which is untrue okay so i'm going to tell you some numbers uh, because they are public uh, and therefore uh, uh, what he's going to say next week does not matter at all uh, unless uh, uh, he lies as he has been doing to investors worldwide with regards to autopilot as an example without the US authorities doing anything with regards to this matter, which is, I believe, very serious. Uh, definition of autopilot, I believe, to be very explicit. Uh, Tesla Motors does not have any autopilot feature. They say they have, but, uh, you know, hands on the wheels, it is not autopilot, uh, as far as in my country, according to the rules. But elsewhere, it might be a different matter. So we have been discussing here the investment process in Tesla basically since IPO, uh, Solar City the same, and we have been warning investors with regards to these scam tactics used by uh, on the media by uh, some of these uh, uh, CEOs of the companies as Solar City and uh, uh, Tesla Motors. Model S. The Model S basically it is not selling. This in Europe, in United States unless in the United States it is a huge popular item in Europe, as an example, it is not selling at all. Uh, the Model X, for your information, they have not sold even 1,000 units. This is a company, Tesla Motors, bear in mind what I'm going to tell you, and you can check on the web, confirm. This is a company at more than $30 billion market cap and they have not sold yet 1,000 units of a model, of a car, okay? 1,000 units. Unbelievable. Well, uh, the question that investors they might have is whether they can pull some uh, rabbit out of the hat, you know, uh, rabbit, uh, surprise, uh, they call it surprise in the United States. There, is no, there are no surprises whatsoever, my friends. There are no miracles. What you can eventually see is a scam or fake numbers or false numbers, but that is not a surprise. That is a different matter as you have, for example, with the Els Fargo or uh, today news on the media, uh, Bank of America. You had it with Goldman Sachs, Morgan Stanley, uh, you know, Deutsche Bank, Credit Suisse, all these firms, they do precisely the same, okay? Including the case of Tesla Motors, which you have to refer to uh, the facts always, and the facts you have, or you can, uh, obviously, uh, call one of their partners, as, for instance, uh, uh, the company Mobile Eye, and uh, have a chat uh, or a conversation with uh, uh, its CEO. Uh, so, these are some of the numbers. Some of the countries that they like, uh, some of the cities in Europe, they like to buy Tesla motors because in other countries you cannot find Tesla uh, cars. Uh, I've never seen one on the street. So in the UAE, no one drives a Tesla. Uh, we are not fucking lunatics. Denmark and Norway are some of the countries that they, uh, well, for because they like the electrical you know, vehicles and blah, blah. Uh, in these countries, uh, sales also are uh, down significantly, okay? So these are the numbers that they are public so far. So where they get a surprise, uh, or they are going to announce a surprise, as in fact many, uh, including short sellers, are uh, expecting by Tesla Motors, uh, only a miracle, in fact, or by only a miracle, they can announce a very good quarter or Q3 deliveries. Bear in mind also that some of the tactics used by this uh, scam management of this company, for example, last quarter, you saw that they announced uh, Q2 deliveries on a holiday or weekend, something like that. During a holiday or a weekend, they announced Q2 deliveries precisely, hoping that no one would notice it. So uh, these uh, 
statics are often used by uh, companies uh, which are very suspicious and individuals that they are involved with fraudulent activities. With fraud activities, I don't mean fraud in the sense of fraud, but uh, suspicious activities, someone that is credible or someone that, uh, uh, as Elon Musk says, that is willing to change the world. So he does not need, I believe, I think that this is logical for any individual with a, a tiny brain, that he does not need to uh, come out with uh, Q2 deliveries on a holiday or during a weekend. You know, very bad news, but posted or trying to post at the right time for investors not to notice it. With regards to Q Q3, only God can tell you what he's going to announce. Not certainly myself, since I'm not an expert in scams. For that matter, you have to consult with Mr. Elon Musk or hedge funds in US and also investment banks, Goldman Sachs, uh, responsible for the secondary, head of a collapse, uh, and more. You have also the management of Solar City, which I believe to be, uh, quite frankly, very credible to tell you about how good they are doing in the markets and a very credible business, a very profitable one. Uh, and more I don't say, uh, so we are going to wait for the news with regards to Q3 deliveries by Tesla Motors and its uh, uh, CEO, the master plan number three. So we already announced two, probably it is coming out the number three. Uh, bear in mind that uh, Elon Musk is uh, uh, investing more time on social media, namely on Twitter, uh, rather than uh, uh, trying to solve the problems of the company or addressing the manufacturer issues or numbers. Uh, so I'm still uh, expecting to see where is the factory. Where, where is the money to produce or to manufacture all these cars, half a million, one million, five million cars. And meanwhile, we have a company, a Ponzi scheme, uh, that is the reality. Uh, this is a speculative stock. A Ponzi scheme worth 30 plus billion dollars in the United States. And in my opinion, the responsible for this matter, it is not Elon Musk. Elon Musk is doing his best to maintain the company there, to get the funds. Uh, to change something, to do something, uh, trying to lure investors or whatever, it does not matter. The responsible are those that they are being sucked, buying this uh, stock, uh, when in fact they should have bought it when I told you that it was a strong buy, and uh, Wall Street had strong sell ratings that th this was a few years ago. Uh, and then uh, you also have the Federal Reserve and the US government, they have been bailing out and using taxes, uh, precisely the money and taxpayers' funds to uh, bail out these, uh, well, uh, very lousy, uh, quite frankly, individuals or sus suspicious individuals without any credibility or track record. Uh, because Tesla Motors, the only thing that they have uh, is not the car. The car, anyone can make a car, okay? So uh, you have to refer to the competition, what they are going or they have been announcing. In fact, General Motors has been doing by far better, in my opinion, a very, by far better job, credible one. And if you invest, in fact, in Tesla, in General Motors, according to my guidance, you, guidance, you are making money in the auto industry, while in Tesla Motors, you are losing money by following, for example, uh, the advice of these investment firms in the United States with target prices. Uh, uh, $338 and a uh, recent one, uh, a target uh, uh, price of $500 by a garage American uh, investment firm. So all of them, they have stamps. We are investment firms. We are Americans and therefore invest. Don't worry uh, because uh, it is coming. Uh, it is coming and then they upgrade stocks ahead of a crash as it happened in the Twitter case. And they downgrade uh, Twitter at the bottom. And one day, once probably they are downgrading Tesla Motors, you should be covering short positions and buying the stock. I don't know. I would say. I don't know. Anyway, we are going to wait. This is the surprise for Q3 deliveries at Tesla Motors. What the its CEO has to say, uh, the wonderful uh, story that he has to tell investors about and why uh, Tesla Motors is today a company worth more than 30 billion US dollars, while he says that it remains profoundly undervalued since according to Elon Musk, he, he says himself that he's an analyst, therefore 
he said, not me, he said that Tesla Motors is worth one trillion dollar company. Tesla Motors, Solar City is a one trillion dollar company. Elon Musk is worth live on the web and you have it. Uh, I, I don't see where is one trillion dollars, but uh, you know, these guys, uh, that's precisely the reason why we call them fraud, fraudulent, uh, not suspicious. This is a clear example of fraud, scam, and you have precisely to do the opposite of what these guys, they tell you about. Uh, as an example, other, because they are thousands of examples, the day that he announced uh, the deal, so good, uh, when he was pumping uh, Tesla Motors stock, he announced that he was going to uh, make a merger between Solar City, a bailout, and Tesla Motors, and shares they collapsed. Okay, so uh, unbelievable how investors they continue uh, falling in these uh, traps. Uh, quite frankly, I just have to refer to the articles that we published there completely for free. I believe that it's preferable for you to invest in serious companies with serious uh, business rather than to invest in these uh, kind of companies. I mean, there are so many good companies in the markets. Why do you have to invest in Tesla Motors or Solar City? Uh, and they continue, you know, there uh, trying to make money. Uh, but, you know, Morgan Stanley, Solar City, 104 dollars price target. And uh, Elon Musk himself, one trillion dollars, okay? So uh, continue investing in Solar City, myself. Continue doing so, as well as Tesla Motors, and we are going to see uh, how much you are going to make. Thank you and good luck.